It's High Five Friday. Come on. All right. So I wanted to start today a little bit differently. Um, again, kind of like last week, peaking, you know, all of that gratitude in your head um, with a video that a, a good friend of mine sent me. Um, so let me just pull that up. Sorry, not Marty yet. This is from the Tom Probably Foolery. I don't know if you guys have ever seen his stuff, but it's awesome. Tell me the one about the virus again, then I'll go to bed. But my boy, you're growing weary, sleepy thoughts about your head. Please, that one's my favorite. I promise just once more. Okay, snuggle down, my boy, though I know you know full well. The story starts before then, in a world I once would dwell. It was a world of waste and wonder, of poverty and plenty, back before we understood why hindsight's twenty twenty. You see, the people came up with companies to trade across all lands, but they swelled and got much bigger than we ever could have planned. We'd always had our wants, but now it got so quick. You could have anything you dreamed of in a day and with a click. We noticed families had stopped talking. That's not to say they never spoke, but the meaning must have melted and the work-life balance broke. And the children's eyes grew square and every toddler had a phone. They filtered out the imperfections, but amidst the noise, they felt alone. And every day the skies grew thicker that you couldn't see the stars. So we flew in planes to find them, while down below, we filled our cars. We'd drive around all day in circles. We'd forgotten how to run. We swapped the grass for tarmac, shrunk the parks till there were none. We filled the sea with plastic, because our waste was never capped. Until each day when you went fishing, you'd pull them out, already wrapped. And while we drank, and smoked and gambled. Our leaders taught us why. It's best to not upset the lobbies. More convenient to die. But then in 2020, a new virus came our way. The governments reacted and told us all to hide away. While we all were hidden amidst the fear and all the while, the people dusted off their instincts. They remembered how to smile. They started clapping to say thank you and calling up their mums. And while the car keys gathered dust, they would look forward to their runs. And with the skies less full of voyagers, the earth began to breathe. And the beaches bore new wildlife that scuttled off into the seas. Some people started dancing. Some were singing. Some were baking. We'd grown so used to bad news, but some good news was in the making. And so when we found the cure, and were allowed to go outside. We all preferred the world we found to the one we'd left behind. Old habits became extinct and they made way for the new. And every simple act of kindness was now given its due. But why did it take a virus to bring the people back together? Sometimes you've got to get sick, my boy, before you start feeling better. Now lie down and dream of tomorrow and all the things that we can do. And who knows, if you dream hard enough, maybe some of them will come true. We now call it the great realization. And yes, since then there have been many, but that's the story of how it started and why hindsight's 2020. Ooh. <laughs> um. I love that video because it kind of, it, you know, we have, we, we have these times in our life that give us the opportunity to reflect. And I don't think I've ever had a more powerful time in my life to reflect being cooped up, um, not being able to see the people I see every day, not being able to do the things that we do every day that make us feel who, like who we are. Um, that make us feel like, you know, that are, that are the things that 
um, that, that we do, like just our regular everyday habits have all had to change. Uh, the way we do everything has all had to change. And it, you get to the point where you realize why, right? Why, were I, why was I doing the things that I was doing? Why did I do this that way? And we, we now have an opportunity, we all have an opportunity to reflect and look at what we've been doing and what we want our world to be. What do we want our business to look like? What do we want our relationships to look like? What do we want our lives to look like? And we have an opportunity to reflect on that and, and, and look forward. Um, I'm sure you've all probably said this at some point because it's one of the most common things I hear as a team leader when talking to agents is that I never have the time to do the things I know I should be doing to work on my business instead of in my business. I'm just so busy running around. Well, what, what better time have we had to reflect on that, right? What, what, what can we set up in our businesses? What can we set up in our lives to make our lives easier, to make our lives more enjoyable, to make our lives more powerful? Um, so that's my gratitude for the day. And if, you know, we, we talked two months ago about finding the silver linings. What bigger silver lining do, 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 do you think we could have, right? Than the opportunity to really reflect on, our, on everything going on in our lives and everything going on in our businesses and, and, and make decisions, not just let things go by day by day. Um, but make actual decisions about what we want those things to look like. So that's what I'm grateful for today. That's what I've been grateful for, for the past few weeks. Um, what are you, what are you all grateful for? Let's start with our gratitude. Now you have the opportunity to unmute yourself and join me. <laughs> I'm grateful it's Friday. Oh yeah. And it looks like we're gonna have a pretty nice weekend too, right, Paul? Yeah, weather's beautiful and rates are low. <laughs> Who else? Um, you know, I gotta say, I have been one of those people that have been saying, oh God, I wish I had the time to get into a workout routine. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. Mm -hmm. My very best friend, who's like a sister to me, lives in New Jersey. And every morning now at 7.30, we are up, together on a zoom call doing an exercise program and i have never felt more grateful to have her in my life like you know i see her maybe once or twice a year and now i get to see her every morning so if it wasn't for this i don't know that i that we would have made that work so that's been that's been my silver lining my and i'm grateful for her awesome who else thank you tammy Right, we have that opportunity to reflect and, and to and to create the changes that we want to see in our lives. Connect with the people that we haven't connected with in a while. Who else? Jody, go for it. Yeah, so I'm just going to say that from a work-life balance, I love professionally that this is even forcing us even more to work with motivated buyers and seller sellers. Uh, it's the you know, you have fewer tire kickers out there right now uh, from a buyer point of view and from a seller point of view, if they don't really want to sell, they, should, they shouldn't be, they're not really on the market. So I think it really helps us concentrate on that and helps work, work life balance. What would your, like, what would your life and your business look like if you were able to maintain that focus coming out of this, right? You know, the big thing that we're talking that, that I'm hearing is, oh, there's going to be this major boom and in, in, in sell like as soon as things people get comfortable again, you know, there's going to be buyers and sellers coming out of the woodwork, right? I don't know if I necessarily believe that. But with that being said, how could you maintain that focus in your business to only work with the motivated? Right? I mean, I think that's a powerful question to ask. What would your life look like if that's what you were able to do? Who else? Gratitude is the highest form of energy. Who's got some gratitude out there to start their day? Yeah, for me, I think um, just spending time, more time with the family. Um, it's been great. And just doing all the things. I'm cooking more, I'm baking more, and just working on my business. All the things that I needed to do, just having the time to do it. 
Um, so I'm grateful and I think business will certainly look differently moving forward. There'll be more zoom in and more um, virtual stuff going on. So I, I just have to wrap my head around that and learn all the tools I need, put that in my toolbox to be big, better in the months to come. So that has certainly been an eye open. I'm grateful for that. Awesome. Okay, well, I'll go. There you go. I, I, I'm seeing, I've been watching you this whole time. I'm like, Jeannie's got to say something. I can see it in her face. So I'm super grateful um, for Rick Scott, and I'll tell you why. Because he's, his push is on, on money and wealth and not just having one income stream. And the fact that he's bringing Dave Ramsey back, which after I took that changed my financial life. And I'm, I'm just so grateful because I, I only took it once. I thought, okay, you take it once. He took it 12 times. So, you know, I'm taking it again. I just told my team, you got, everyone has to take it. And the fact that he was able to shift my world wealth wise, and that he's going to be able to touch the 450 agents in our office, wealth-wise, I think is just a, a gift. And uh, if we could all put a little clappy for Rick Scott, I would. Ah. That's, that's my shout out. It's my shout Absolutely. out. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Mary, Mary Pat, what did you say? I, said, I don't know how to put a post a clappy. <laughs> uh, you, uh, there's a little button that says reactions. Okay. Um, I would say I was very, you know, I, I felt a little behind in my red day, um, you know, activities and yesterday and had the bags, but hadn't contacted as many people as I wanted. So I just sent a text out to a whole bunch of people that I was like, I could just drop these off at their mailbox. And absolutely everyone right away was like, drop it off, drop it off, or I'll bring it to you. Like it was just instantaneous. And like that, you know, I, I, it was just instantaneous, made me feel so good. People were so willing to help. They didn't even think about it, you know? And I thought, why didn't I do this sooner? I could have, you know, busloads of food here. Um, but everyone I, I contacted yesterday as sort of last ditch efforts was like, come on over, you know, it was great. Doesn't life tend to be like that, right? Like we, we, we put off things for whatever reason, right? We kind of delay, we delay, we delay doing things that as soon as we do them, like just provide a create an incredible sense of relief or an incredible sense of gratitude or all of a sudden we realize, wow, like I wish I had done this sooner, right? Um, or why didn't I do this before? Um, I love that example. Thank you, Mary Pat. Who else? Anybody else out there? Hey, Dan. Hey, Trombos. Hi. Um, I just want to do a quick shout out to Fiona for organizing the Circle of Care. The toolkit was awesome. If anybody hasn't done that, it's super easy and quick. We did a Facebook post late last night. And um, just getting the people to like their, their page, it's like not a big ask. You know, so anyway, I, I thought that was just such a cool idea and really easy to just put out in your, on your page. Thanks, yeah. Fiona. Yeah, thank you to all of our ALC members who helped organize our, our Red Day events yesterday and, the, and all of the agents who participated. Um, we don't have final numbers yet um, from yet, like up until yesterday, uh, but Steve and I will kind of be compiling those. I know we have a lot of bags of food that got dropped off to various food banks. And uh, I saw the, I saw the Auslander Kassendorf uh, social post yesterday with all of their letters, which was awesome to see. So thank you. Um, and yeah, there's still time. We still have letters. We still have bags. Um, we said that we were going to do this through the month of May. So please like, you know, find time, send out a few messages to your, to your people. Um, you know, there's still a, a lot of need out there. And I think, again, you know, people, people want to give thanks right now. They want to help where they can. Um, so let's, let's help them do that. Um, all right. A couple things before we kick it over to Adonis for Marty Miller today. Um, Rick is doing his expense reduction class today at 4.30 on the 4.30 call. Earlier this week, he challenged everybody to find ways to cut their expenses. 
and, uh, and, 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 to, and to start making lists and sharing those. So just a reminder, we're going to be doing that today at 4.30 uh, on our call. Um, we have Bold Pivot for those of you who are in that from 2 to 4. And then Gary Keller is going to be live on KW Connect at 4 o'clock um, for one of his Life Moment uh, webinars. Uh, those tend to be on the shorter side. So um, feel free to hop on that after Bold and then hop, on, hop, hop back on here for our 4.30 Q&A and wrap-up session for the week. Um, last but not least, it is now May 15th, which means we are halfway through the month of May. You should have received an email from the State Department of Consumer Protection to renew your real estate license for all of you real estate salespeople, you know, brokers, you should have done that two months ago. So if you're a broker, you're two months behind. If you're a real estate salesperson, you still have 15 days. All right. Um, but you should have received that email. If you did not receive an email or if you don't remember seeing it, uh, just please search for Department of Consumer Protection um, in, your, in, your, in your inbox or reach out to, to uh, your, your staff, uh, either Adonis or Maria or Robert or Sam or Deb or Lisa or one of, the, one of your staff, uh, your leadership members to um, make sure that they get you on track for that. Um, there is a, f a penalty if you don't renew on time. Um, so it becomes more expensive to put it off. Um, and then we also need to have all of our CE done by the end of this month as well. So you've got two weeks. There are lots and lots of online, um, online uh, options for that as well. So if you have not done your continuing education, please make sure to do that. All right, let's kick it over to hey Dan mortgage for their mortgage minute. Uh, Paul, are you going to be handling that today or? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Dan. Happy Friday to everybody. So uh, we've always said that being a mortgage broker is great because we have multiple lenders that, uh, uh, that we have to choose from. So your customers get a lot of choice. And one of our top lenders, in fact, one of the top wholesalers in the, in the country just came out with a program. Uh, they just kicked it off yesterday. It's brand new and it's an amazing program. Uh, borrower with good credit, like a 720, 740, right around there. Uh, who's putting 5% down on a conforming loan. So that's anything up to 510,000. Yesterday, I priced it out and locked the loan for a borrower at 2.99%. Wow. 5% down. That's crazy. It is. And by the way, the mortgage insurance was very low. For this borrower, the mortgage insurance was uh, $75 a month. So all in all, under 3%. 30 year fixed with 5% down conforming. It's a home run for your borrowers. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, Paul. Uh, yeah, rates are still low. It's a great time to be a buyer right now, everybody. All right, so where is Adonis? Here I am. Oh, Hello, buddy. Dan. Good job today. We all have to be grateful for something. So Absolutely. Marty's gonna continue with the smart plans. We're gonna learn about editing tasks. We're gonna learn about texting from smart plans and even more. So tune in now. All right, here we go, Marty. Good evening, Kelly Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge Day 35. So we are wrapping up our series on smart plans, and I kind of gave you a teaser alert yesterday. So clicking on the smart plan icon here on the left hand side. I'm going to teach you today how you can actually edit. Um, right now in limited capacity, the smart plans that we have available, uh, but in the future, hopefully even more editing capabilities will be added. So uh, these are the smart plans that have already been added to my library. So in order to add one to the library, again, we're just gonna go into library. Uh, we're gonna add midterm nurture. So I can click on add smart plan. It's basically going to say, what do you want to name this? So if you like this plan, but you want to change the text ever so slightly, so I can think of um, maybe a birthday smart plan, for example, that's going out to sphere and close friends versus a birthday smart plan that might be going out to um, kind of leads and or open house guests or, you know, people that aren't quite as close. You might have two different variations of these smart plans and you would just title them uh, as such. Okay, so I'm just going to put my midterm nurture for right now. I'm going to click on apply. That's going to add that smart plan to my library. And now I can come down. So here is my midterm nurture. And if I come over here to the right hand side, I have the opportunity to click on this pencil. 
and I can edit the smart plan. Now, right now, the only ability that I can do is actually edit the text that's in several of these different tasks. And yet you can see in the future what some of the action abilities might be here in uh, the future when we get it opened up to us. So I guarantee you it's gonna look like this in the future and yet it's kind of cool to see it slowly coming along. So in this smart plan, first thing it does is add to smart plan biweekly neighborhood nurture and then it waits 14 days. It sends you a task to make a call. And this is what the task name is going to look like. And this is what the task description is going to look like. So I might say, hey, you know what? I don't want phone call. I want this to say uh, follow up call. So I could just change what that task name is going to look like. And I could change here, task description, call so-and-so. Well, here's a good example, right? It says call so-and-so, and yet it does not have the contact's phone number. And I would actually have to go into the contact to add that. So what if I just said call Marty Miller at, and then I'm gonna type in at, and I'm gonna come over here, and I'm gonna use the merge field contact phone. And then now I don't have to actually go into the contact record immediately. I can call them. Now, if I make contact with them, I want to add notes or put them on a search or something like that, then obviously I would want to go into the contact record. But by adding this merge field contact phone, now this task will actually show their phone number in the task description as compared to me having to dive into their contact record. So there's a change you can make for you as the agent. Next, you can see step five is to actually send out an SMS MMS. My Twilio is actually disabled right now. And so you do have the ability to come in and of course, you know, obviously set up your Twilio account. But these are the texts, right, that could go out. So it's going to be one of these three. If you only want it to be one, right? So dynamic means it's going to basically go through this smart plan and it's gonna send out text one. And then it's gonna go through a second time, it's gonna send out text two, and it's gonna go a third time and send out text three, right? So add more text message to cycle through your repeating smart plans to avoid repeating messages to your client. So you would not want this on static because then it's gonna send this exact same text several times over and we don't want that. So we want dynamic. And then you can see here are the texts that are actually being sent. Now, most of the time when I reach out to people, well, first of all, I'm kind of a grammar Nazi. So this comma is in the wrong place. It should say, hi, Marty Miller, comma, right? So you can see it's done correctly down here. Hi, Marty Miller, comma. I want to make sure I'm getting you. I typically don't text people with their last name in it. I think it sounds weird, right? So I'm going to take out this merge field with last name. Uh, I'm also going to take out my last name because I don't usually say, hey, it's Marty Miller. I usually just say, hey, it's Marty from KW, right? And, right, if you're... Right. Right. So maybe I'm going to say from, right, team name already has, and my team name already has Keller Williams in it, so it just looks weird. So you can come in here basically and change how these texts go out. So hi, Marty. It, so hi, uh, whatever, Nicole, comma, it's Marty from Summit Property Group at Keller Williams, period. Was the market data I sent over a few weeks ago helpful, question mark? If so, comma, I have fresh numbers and insights I'd be happy to send your way. All right, and maybe I want to add a call to action. Please text me back and let me know if, know if you'd like to see more, right? So whatever it is, I can come through here and read each one of these texts and go in and actually change them and make them the way that I want. So I'm gonna save that one, right? So then, um, it, what did it do? Oh, let's move, no, we don't wanna move it down. I wanna actually see that step. Did it take that step out? No, here it is. Okay, so we're gonna click on the down arrow and now I can see the two texts. I can also, I believe I can add a new text, I can. So I can actually put in a third text if I wanted to, right? So I could actually write out what I want this text to say. So you have this same ability to come in and do edits, right? So now that this is done, um, I'm gonna click on the checkbox here to save, uh, actually let's get rid of this text message, save that. I'm gonna save this one up here. Now I'm gonna save the smart plan as a whole. And so, all changes to smart plan have been saved. Great. So if I come back, 
I now have my midterm nurture the way that I want it set up. Here, I have the birthday smart plan, right? This was the original, and then I made changes to it. So I've got birthday one. So let's just take a look at that one. If I wanted to edit it, uh, the birthday smart plan just says happy birthday on the text. And so for me, that was something that I thought was weird. I thought people should want to know who that's coming from. So, hey, it's Marty Miller with KW Platinum. Just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. And uh, I'm actually gonna change that to, hey, it's Marty Miller with Keller Williams. It's obviously in my new position. I'm not 100% associated with just one market center. So, hey, it's Marty Miller with Keller Williams. Just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. I'm gonna save that. Now I can come back up to the top and I can save that change. And now that smart plan has been changed with that information. So that's basically it. You can come through each one of these smart plans. Like I said, you can copy these smart plans as well. So let's say birthday one is set up, but I want to copy this smart plan. I like everything about it, except I want to call this birthday for sphere contacts, right? So I could save this. Now I have a new plan that's in here and this is birthday for sphere contacts. Maybe I do some edits on that. And then when I come into my actual contact records, you'll see, I now have the ability to add, let's just say, all right, a seller. I want to put them on a smart plan. Let's see what smart plans they're already on. They're not subscribed to any. So I would say add to smart plan. And this person is in my sphere. So I'm going to give them the birthday sphere smart plan. Right. And so then it tells you what that one is. And I'm going to click on confirm. Um, and I don't have this person on an actual birth. I don't have a birthday for this person, so I can't add them to that smart plan. So that was a good way to see that uh, fail save. I hadn't shown that previously to you. Obviously, you do have to have a birthday for your client in order to add them to that smart plan. So that's it for today, guys. The ability to go in, copy, edit, and uh, change up your smart plans to kind of suit your needs with regards to the text and the tasks and the text and the texts. Um, in the future, obviously, we'll have the ability to create our own smart plans. We can change these with different triggers, different items. Maybe we don't want text going out. We only want emails. We want to add in a couple other tasks. I'm super excited about the future of the uh, smart plan editor. I don't know when that's going to go live, so please don't message me or tag me and ask me when it's going to go live. I don't know. I know it's being worked on, and I want it to be. Uh, I want it to work well before it's released, just as much as I'm sure you do. So that's why I'm excited that they haven't released it yet, because that just means they're getting it perfect before they release it, or at least a lot closer to perfect than it is now. So that's it for today, guys. Hope you had a great Saturday, and as always, I'll. All right. Thank you, Marty. Yep. Thank you, Marty. So you, on Monday, we're going to actually move forward and talk about designs. We're going to move on to something else. We're going to get the design library, social, and print templates. So that'll be awesome. Awesome. All right, everybody. Let's have an amazing weekend. Let's get out there and sell some houses. All right. Thank you for joining us this morning. And if you have any questions or anything going on, please let anybody on your leadership staff know. Uh, yeah, let's go out there and rock it. Bye everybody. Bye -bye.